Hello, world. Hi again. We're back, I, unfortunately. I know. Believe it. We're back. Like, like, like don't or like Backstreet. I've been here. For I've been here for years. Or no, like, like Backstreet's back. All right. Uh, 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 and you gotta do the dance moves. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, y'all. Sorry. Hi. Welcome to Life for One Advanced Shenanigans. She said the name. Oh, I'm Drea. Uh-uh, I got it right. She did. I'm so proud of you. She's Drea. I'm Michelle. Um, and if you notice that we, you know, got to telling you who we are pretty early, it's because we got company, and we have to. <laughs> I'm gonna get you one of those air horns. I'm gonna find really you want one. one. I'm gonna get you one. I don't I know where the. I'm gonna look. Go ahead. Keep talking. I'm there probably is an app. Sorry, sorry, y'all. So, um, we we have company today, and we wanted to act just a little bit right because you know you're supposed to act a certain way when you have company. Um, and we just wanted to get that out there. So, this is our is this our our last episode for February? Is it? I think so. Okay. Yes. So. So we've decided this is our last episode for February. Um, and, you know, February is the love month and also, you know, the month where the greatest person in the world, she was born. But enough about me. Calm Let's your talk. kids. Put them I'm back in great, your shirt. Put them I'm back in. The, <laughs> they're it now. No. Anyway. I just, I feel like I'm like one of the greatest people ever born in February. Second greatest. First greatest was my grandma, but I'm biased. Anyway. You know, I have like 17 people born in February. I can't. None of those people. Several nieces, nephew, a couple friends, a few others. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) So anyway. This reminds me of that um that TikTok where the girl be like, "Daily reminded you the baddest bitch on the, on your block." Hey, hey, not my block, not my <laughs> block, but your block for sure. For sure. Okay, so I'm sure. I'm I'm the best February born person on my block. Sorry, best friend who was born five days after me. It just happened that way. You don't count. I was I was you... backing you up. What you mean? <laughs> didn't say wait a minute at no point oh no <laughs> oh no we uh, still we not keep... introduced our guests hold on we gotta <laughs> let her talk <laughs> we done killed the yes y'all um so i want to introduce so um this this episode we decided that we were going to talk about two parts of the love world that some people are not as comfortable with kink and polyamory and we decided, because, you know, y'all get to hear us talk shit all the time, let's add an extra, another person, you know, make it spicy. Yeah. I, I would like to introduce you guys to a very dear friend of mine, Elle. We've known each other <clears throat> for some years now. Um, oh. It's been oh. years. It's like oh. maybe four, maybe four oh. years. Um, oh. I just met her. okay yes you just met me but like I feel like I've known you like I know know you oh oh no (laughs) I'm sorry that that's the impression you got of me Um, anyway I was a fan apparently yes I'm a huge fan this is the one time where you can meet you know someone you admire and it's not total shit no. I mean, well, we've only been on the phone for a few minutes now, so. Oh. Well, she knows me. <laughs> she knows me, and objects and mirror may be better than they appear. So. Oh. Also, right. can I also say before we get too far into this introduction, as soon as she <laughs> said that you know we are on another part of the love world, the song "Love Train" started playing in my head, which is why I immediately started dancing. Love train song that was yeah yeah people all what over the world, the world. Yeah. okay oh, I was nice. yeah it's a good love one. train love train Get so it, I, was, girl. I was thinking about the song um by Confunction the fuck which one is that 
it's she says darling baby you know i oh, yeah. really want to see you too <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the whole time he is just begging to come over and she's like bruh <laughs> I, if someone else is over i can't be with you absolutely but, not right now but he said i dialed that number no one answered till like two o'clock so he really wanted to be over there he did like, he missed her he missed you guys say. are talking about these two love songs and we just I'm, I'm seeing we're going through a relationship because Drea was like love train you're like I really want to be with you and the song that's in my head right now is have you seen her oh oh <laughs> really have you seen her? Her. <laughs> yeah we do we oh, have a do, relationship do, do, do. In music. <laughs> that was a whole relationship. Yes. Like, Jeff on the love train. Oh, it's getting a little rocky because I want to be with you, but you with somebody else. And now she done up and ghosted she up him. up and ghosted me. I don't even know where she been. where she go. Oh, damn. That song says, why, oh, why? Did you have to leave and go away? Go away. <laughs> Not I even. Can you-, you didn't just leave for a moment. You went away. Oh, well, he says that song says I've been I've been used to having someone to lean on and I'm lost. <laughs> Baby, Which, again, I honey, lost. buy some crutches. Crutches. There are so many other things to lean on other than people. A like, wall. You, you said buy some crutches, chair. have someone to lean on, and see the problem is I have a jukebox. Stuck Here we in my go. Head. This is not the music episode. You missed it. It's not you missed it. We did. I it. couldn't eat on it, but the the, the song in my head. Is now Lenny Williams, I Love You. But the part oh. of the song where he was like, I list, I watch TV till television, until television went, went off. off. And, and I, I play my records, records until I didn't, like didn't want to hear him anymore. <laughs> yeah. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. That's not the best line from that Lenny Williams song. The best line from that Lenny Williams song is, I want to believe you, baby. I want to begrieve you baby no he says i won't ever grieve you uh-uh. it is i want to but grieve you you cannot lie to me about this i don't care what the uh-huh. says i don't care what the lyrics.com <laughs> says i don't care what lenny williams says it is i want to but grieve you baby because that's what he says uh-huh. i know it's not the right words but it feels right in my soul and that's what i'm going with i'm jujuling it <laughs> you right juju now whatever you like she Dude, is telling you. Oh my god. <laughs> Y'all. Juju has pra- paid promotions by the big lyrics companies that don't want me to <laughs> you can't even get the lot out. This is this is like the most un I felt it. Most, no, this is the most unsupported. Like <laughs> It's not a good argument. I understand that. But I'm saying. No, it's the most unsupported conspiracy theory I have ever heard. (laughs) And I read up on QAnon. I mean. Oh, you poor thing. I just wanted to know. And so you just need to understand what they're talking about. Right. And so I just wanted to know. And the thing, the thing that took me out, and I think I sent this, this um, article to Drea, the thing that trip me out was not all the things like they believed that somebody was eating babies and all that type of stuff. Oh yeah. The thing that took me out is the fact that they believed that the government was controlled by blue bipedal bird aliens. It I'm not playing with you. It like so so you know so the thing like you get a you get a cryptic tweet and you, you guys kind of like divine information or a message from it, that's mm-hmm. fairly normal yeah. in terms of like thoughts or like thought processes of belief, right? Or like, like religions or cults. But somewhere along the way, we went off track. I got fun. just want to know much like this podcast. Baby. We go. I'm. 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 I'm gonna bring it right back around. Just. Just. Just hear me out. Follow me. Now. Follow me. <laughs> okay. I want to know whose grandbaby saw their mom and dad doing some adult things, dressing up in some body paint, 
Mm-hmm. And and they had to run and tell grandpa because they were not okay. Speaking of being okay, can we do the check-in? Right oh, back oh, oh. Right. Look at her yeah, trying right. to keep us Look on track. Her. This is not an on track <laughs> podcast. I don't know what you thought you were signing up for, L. You yeah. listen to us. This is man. This ain't great, but whatever. <laughs> this is not a produced prog. <laughs> you know how they say a podcast is well produced? It's this not. is not this the is one. just a jumble of this shit is thrown the kind together. Of podcast. This is the kind of podcast you listen to and you want to be like, oh, they made that up. No, this is freestyle. This is all day. This is off the cuff. Uh, yeah, man. Baby, you getting me like I am. <laughs> and I am clearly um, not a white woman. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As a fan, as a fan and those listening, I can I, I yo, I will stake my melanin and my Afro puffs. Drea is not. I got white. one of those. Yeah. I got an Afro puff. You it's, know what? You're not in, you're in not a pink cloth what, right now. Wait, but. wait, wait. You're not helping yourself. You sound like a white hipster. <laughs> Especially because you said poof. It's not a poof. It's a puff. She knows or this. Left oof. I, I feel like puff was fine. But whatever. <laughs> um. Okay. 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 My check in. I'm very excited. It's Ash Wednesday, guys. It's the beginning of Lent. <gasps> Did you forget to go get your ashes? No, okay. I have some. Oh my gosh. Get a candle, put it on your forehead. Oh, she doesn't know what she's giving up. What am I you could be like me. Life? I'm not giving up shit. Um, I'm, I give up my will to live on a weekly basis. It's fine. So, so I'm just gonna assume. I'm just gonna assume that your check in is um not great. Ex- excited, but not great. Excited. Yes, because after this, I'm gonna go. Get- go get some leftover mac and cheese because my roommate made me a Mardi Gras meal last night we decided to do it big for Mardi Gras and she made a whole meal she made cabbage she made mac and cheese she made me New Orleans barbecue shrimp she made me crawfish beignets which were delicious I love her she's the best not wife I have and I'm pretty sure she's the only not wife you can't have her. You can't. Why not? You can't have her. You she's very her. straight. <laughs> she's extremely straight. And yeah. my one contribution was cocktails. And we had the baby, so also a mocktail. So I made a Aww. Yeah. So I made a blueberry, blackberry, and lime smash. Ooh. Mango limeade. It was delicious. Absolutely delicious. I think that mm-hmm. recipe when we, you know, I think that recipe. Yes, please. Yeah, it was great. It Sounds was great. great. So I'm, great. I'm very excited for the macaroni and cheese that I'm gonna steal from her later tonight. And by steal cool. from her, I mean just go into our fridge and eat. <laughs> so it's really, it's really not her stealing, but carry on. Yeah. How yeah. are you? How are you? Yeah. Sheel. Um. I'm pretty Me. good. Me, no, 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 no. Can't go by Mish. I'm down with Mish. Let's do it. It sounds. It sounds wrong. Mish. I was. I was thinking Shelly. I was literally. You said Michelle. I was thinking show. Shell Shelly. I could go with Shelly. Shelly. I mean, Shelly is one of um. Um. Someone she's important in some type of way. That's like a last name of someone Use important. Or something. Anyway, Mary Shelley. There we go. Yeah, make her a Frankenstein. Yep, and arguably one of the first science fiction authors out there. Hey. It would be a woman, wouldn't it? Yeah, and the very first the very first science fiction story was by a woman, like. <sighs> pre pre modern civilization i think like but anyway we'll talk about it another day that's we'll do the research guys and by we i mean mish will do the research 
and not Mish, <laughs> not Mish. <laughs> or okay, how about this? Is that a Mish? How about Mimi? No, I'm no one's grandma. How about Shell? I don't like it. What's you your don't like it because <laughs> you don't like it because I came up with it. Correct, and not you. <laughs> um, I'm doing pretty okay. I uh, just got an email. Um, for something, okay, so, you know, uh, Drea, we were together the other day, and I put an envelope in the mail. Correct. It is really important I got an email, and now I know that they got it, because we, I did the bootleggers of shit. I just put... It was my idea. I take full credit for it. (laughs) I needed to mail this thing, but the, the post office was closed, so I couldn't buy, like, postage. So... At Drea's ingenious insistence, I put like a shit ton of forever stamps on the thing and just wished it well. Yeah. And not only were they forever stamps, they were white Santa Claus forever stamps. <laughs> counts. Still counts. You know what? You know what? I'm okay with that because they're going to put stamps on the stamp. So mm-hmm. we won't be able to tell that it's a white Santa. Now, I would feel bad as if it were any other type of Santa. Like the old school Father Christmas. Like, those are kind of ancient. You want to hold on to those. Oh, I, I don't care. Man. We don't care about these stamps. Use these stamps. If you have an irregularly shaped package <laughs> envelope, <laughs> Drea's number one rule for getting it there is throw like three or four stamps on it. Just throw three or four stamps on it. Throw it in the mailbox. If it's not enough postage, guess what? They'll send it back to you. They will. They'll just send it to your house. If it is enough postage, it'll go to where it's going to be. You know what? It's a lot harder to do. Send it back to your house. Nobody wants to mess with your return address. They're going to just send it (laughs) out. Three, four (laughs) stamps. Put them on there. They're happy. Yeah, so I put like four forever stamps on this thing for it to go a couple of a couple of cities over yeah it made it it got there that's all that it matters. did and pretty good timing too <laughs> yeah Yay. that not <laughs> yeah yeah so um that that's a thing i'm happy that now i don't have to worry about that um <clears throat> yeah just living the dream did you almost choke Drea? oh i keep burning my tongue because i keep thinking it's cold enough but it's not but you put this hot water. Okay, Drea likes to um, drink warm to hot water as a beverage. No, not with tea and sugar or anything like that. Just the water. It's but she delicious. always heats. Yeah, it is. But she always heats it up a little too high. Mm-hmm. And then she puts it in an insulated mug that does what? Keeps things at the temperature they were when you put them in there. You're right. You right. And then she waits for it to cool down. All these things are correct. Every word you said is right. I don't know what else to say to help that. All those words. I keep burning my tongue because I'd be like, oh, I need to sip on something to drink. Something hot, apparently. Now, Elle, please tell me, how are you? How are you, Elle? Is it everything you thought it it would be when you decided to guest star with us dumbasses? (laughs) Wait a minute. There's only one dumbass, not me. Okay, with my dumbass? (laughs) okay 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 part a i am i am worried about a specific thing a little a little little corner of my world a little spiritual corner of my world i'm worried about a thing shoot it and then would you say with a gun you can't shoot it with a gun i need it to work i need it to stay what it's doing shoot um, it with a taser non-spiritual I'm no not a shoot it with a taser I'm, I'm sorry excited. Elle you're, you're excited you're excited. I'm excited I'm excited to be here I'm excited to do this I cannot wait um I'm scared. to answer Drea's question about <laughs> is this all it girl you have no idea I have been playing this in my head since I found out about it in December in December <laughs> and I was like what is this going to be I was nervous I didn't want to do it and then I wanted to do it and then I really want to do it and then I was like can we hurry up and do this so 
If <clears throat> choking and trying don't to die. die, I'm that excited. Please don't do that. Don't die. I'm that excited. So it's it's fun so far. We've already had a music dance break. Like, can I get a can I get a oh hell yeah yes? Like this I, is fun. I don't do call and response ever since I left the church, but okay. <laughs> You know, I think she I think she called in response to herself. That was a personal moment. Oh, I don't bad. think it was uh-huh. about she you. I was like, I'm not about to join in on this. I can't. She was I like, won't like, it. She said, can I she uh-huh. said, Can I get a hell yeah? Oh yeah. Like yeah. she answered she asked and answered. Good. Yeah. I'm glad. I was just like, I hope you're not expecting us to join. No, 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 because that would have been, can I get an amen? And I, I don't expect either of you to amen. Like, what? No, that's not what um, I know. That's I was not raised in the church, but I am not of the church. Does that make sense? I yeah. feel good about that question, that point. <laughs> yes, raised in the church. I am not of the church. You sound real, you sound real spiritual, you know? As I sometimes <laughs> say to piss my mom off, I'm agnostic. <laughs> So I recently met Drea's mom. Oh and no. sorry. No, it was great. Um, but one one day when we were we were at our mom's house, they were having a conversation and I knew like I was like, Whoop, nope, not going out there. It was and a conversation I, about praying. Yes. Yeah. And so I was like, Whoop, not going out there and her mom or maybe Drea, they had they thought that I was still asleep. And then as soon as they were like, oh, well, we'll wait till Michelle wakes up. Da, da, da. I was like, no, actually, I'm woke. Um, you don't have to talk about this anymore. I was like, I oh. Like Drea's uncomfortable. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so. <clears throat> was that prayer? <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, ooh, y'all are. Okay. My, my mother is into those things. She is of the church and in the church. I am formally one of those things understandable but Look, no, if uh, it turns uh, out not to be a grift i'm in there man <laughs> i was baptized speaking for, close. That's been, speaking for the person that's been baptized three times twice by choice girl i i i recognize but like that's 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 a younger part of me that does not exist anymore like yeah. you would have to speak to the former version you know you'd have to speak to the the entity that used to be ill right you know as before. people find out all the time i still can quote scripture with the best of them unfortunately yes but no you should hear her sing gospel music i i do i still listen to gospel music i find it fun it's energetic there's usually yes. a good rhythm it's it's motivational speaking. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> okay. Also, also the 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 thing about gospel music, it's motivational. It's upbeat, but it's upbeat to a level that pop music can never get to. Yeah. Sometimes like you there's can just stomp your foot and clap to pop music. Yeah. Sometimes like you can't there's just a, and there's a move in your lady. It. Like that's not a thing. Yeah. I'm here hmm. for it. Michelle is not here for these things, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm coming back. Pull it back. <laughs> but, you know, since yeah. the Lord and all his his glory made me, he clearly was okay with some freaky shit. So, <laughs> that's what we're talking about today. <laughs> we are definitely what a what a segue. It's like it's it. Segway Nation. Segway Nation. <laughs> it's hell is, segway Nation. Yeah, it, oh, wait, it, left fist. Left fist. If hell is real, we're definitely going after that. I'm not allowed anymore. They keep kicking me out. Wow. I believe it. Mostly because I think the devil's chair is like hella comfy. Like, why does he need that much cushion? He don't. He got a tail. Maybe does that mean that the devil's chair has a hole in it? I feel like it must. So his tail can hang tail. out. Well, no, it doesn't. No, no, no. He has he a tail things. warmer feet. He's a tail warmer. So for me, I just sit backwards and it keeps my toes warm. He doesn't like that very much. Mm. Mm. Cause Got then it. he's like my tail. That's my a good idea. My Somebody get on that guys. Make a, make a foot warmer seat. Tail warmer yeah. seat. Yeah. Somebody get on it. 
like heated seats in the cars yeah somebody yeah. somebody go to r d somebody work this out <laughs> workshop this out and also figure out how you can have like a, a horn massager those would be awesome yeah i don't have horns but if i were to ever have them i would I like mean, to know how to use them and get them massaged hmm interesting interesting also, feels like horn horn massages would be a kink feels like it would be a kink you know Maybe. there are boot blacks so basically people that their kink is service conditioning and you know taking care of leather so if you can do that why can't you have a, a, a horn massage why or kink why not i mean when we find out that all these supernatural creatures are actually real we probably will figure out that there is one. There is one. We there's a rule. If it's on Earth, there's a rule thirty four for it. Yep. Sure. I forgot. Okay. What wait, 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 is. wait, Paul. I was like, Paul. I did. I forgot. I don't know. If for everything that exists, there's like a porn version of it. Ah, that sounds right. <laughs> okay. Somebody asked me what rule thirty four is in three weeks. I won't know. I won't know. <laughs> I, I'll I'll tell you again. It's okay. Thank you. Anywho, our episode today is about kink, and L is going yeah. to be our kink aficionado. Can we call her that today? Absolutely, I like that aficionado. I'm not the expert because the expert is already on this show, but we won't tell nobody else that. But I will be the aficionado. Yes, aficionado. <laughs> So she has come around to help us understand some of her kink world, get some clarity on it, and then, of course, listen to us lie about it. So, ready? <laughs> Let's go. Let's yeah, go. So, right. So, okay. So, can you tell us a little bit about, like, how you figured out you were kinky? Like, how do you be knowing? Okay. So, here's the problem with me versus where most people come in. Um, I didn't actually have an introduction into kink because I grew up this way. Like it was in my house. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Don't now. Know yet. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I need to, um, I think the word is a, explain or elucidate either way. I think both of those are correct. Both are right. So let me elucidate. I lived in a house as a teen younger person my my father's house where it was normal for pleasure to be first Mm. so pleasure first your needs and necessities happiness is somewhere in there in the middle okay and then everything else in life so you know it was nothing for my oh also there were a lot of people in my house I had two uncles, my aunt, my dad, myself, and three cousins, and my brother. Nine people in this little house. Um, Cool beans. I also grew up with nine people in my house at one point, but they were mostly children. We we outnumbered the adults on like a two-to-one ratio. It was rough. Well, I get that. I remember that episode. Um, it It was nothing for a random... Tuesday afternoon after work to see my aunt give my dad a hug and he unsnap her bra to scratch her back. Oh. Okay, that was where I blood. thought that was going. No. Okay, great. They were play, great. They were play brother and sister. Got it. I was like, we gotta, we gotta her. draw some lines at incest. <laughs> <laughs> He would unsnap her bra. Her husband would be like three feet away watching. He'd unsnap her bra and scratch her back. And what our family calls the itchy spots, but most women know them as the spot where your bra strap and the the um yeah the band meet. Yeah, that is the spot. He would unsnap her bra and pull that out and scratch there. And for her, that um relief 
also turned into pleasure, which turned her on. So you would see her running like this, holding her bra, trying to snatch my uncle out of his comfy chair and not spill his beer as they ran into their bedroom to do whatever they were going to do. Ah, oh, fun times, USA. Oh, this, right. Oh. So I was going to ask, did your, did your daddy hook the bra back? But I guess not. Um, There would be other times where <laughs> there were always paddles in our house because my dad didn't believe in using his hands to chastise a child. Okay. So, so you choose a paddle. Yeah. So he knew he, the way he explained it is if I'm holding a paddle, you're in trouble, but you will never be afraid of my hands. So if my hand comes at you really quick, if your quick, hand is holding never... the paddle, see, I got qualms. I mean, here. Hold I on. got questions because I'm a. I'm <laughs> I understand associate the two. I understand his logic, but my logic says your hand is on said paddle. Therefore, your hand is the front of the paddle. And, and you know what? I tried that too, and he was like, "But my hand is not the thing striking you. The paddle is, and the arm, With and the, the arm, rotator it, cuff. It, the paddle doesn't and strike me by itself." It's like guns don't, guns guns don't, don't kill people. People, people kill people. <laughs> look, look, look. Come on now, y'all. Work with me here. I'm bad, I'm bad. I get it. I get he's, it. He's a country boy and he's trying to do his best. Work with me here. Come well, on. He now. did it. He did a great job. He, tried. he did a great yes. job. So we you know what? He was there and he was there. trying. It was it's okay. <laughs> yeah. And like, yeah. you know, he would do like, or you would see my aunt chase him around with a paddle because she's trying to spank him. And he's going, don't threaten me with a good time. And there's like three-year-olds running around going, yay. So, you know, my little cousin would see me wearing a particular snapped shirt. I always wore a sports bra with this shirt because I knew my little cousin enjoyed this, which is he was three. Snaps are fun. So he would see me wearing the shirt. And the first thing he would want to do is rip the snaps open. Because that's a strong, that was the the might of his strength. Good job, I am kid. not kid. You know what? I am it, not kid friendly. But he would ask first, Miss. And I'm not kid friendly. He would ask, "Can I open?" Yes, no. Open. Get away oh, from me. See, don't okay. ask. Consent is key. Don't ask nobody. Consent is key. Yes. Consent is key, but <laughs> no. don't ask nobody else. Can you unhook their shirt? Like, can I unsnap? I no. mean, yeah, within reason. Like, you can't be in public and be like, can I unsnap? No, hopefully not. No, no, no. Well, nigga, like, put it down. Like, put it down. That growing up in our household, I just, it was normal. So when I got to the kink community, I was like, oh, there's a name for that? That was my thing. It was like, I didn't know the names of it, but we were doing it. Got it. So it was very ingrained. Mm. It was very normal for you guys. Right, it's very normal. So, like, you know, we we joke all the time about who's going to get a well between my brother and I. Who's going to end up with a ball gag? Because whoever has the ball gag is it. Oh, uh-huh. fun times, USA. I guess. Look, I'm learning. How biz- how bizarre! I like it. Tell me more. <laughs> It is bizarre, but the thing is, whoever is it has to do the chores. The reason for the ball gag is we don't want to hear you complaining. Ah, oh. <laughs> you have to do all the chores. Interesting. So, no, so interesting. Somebody complaining. See, we had a chore wheel or a chore chart, really. Right. So we no. didn't have that problem. But okay, that's a new one. If you lost the, if you lost the bet, yeah, yeah, you had to do everybody's chores. I mean, feels unfair. Feels unfair. (laughs) Don't lose the bet. Or don't bet. But if I I never play the game, does that mean I never never have to do chores? No, you have to do your chore, but you don't have to do everyone's chore. Oh, see, I'm not a gambler. I'm easily going to walk away from that shit every time. Uh Y'all got it. What's, I'm just gonna do my... What's Drea doing? Oh, I'm over here vacuuming. Don't even worry about me, guys. I'm just, <laughs> just doing my one job. Bye, I'm bye. Playing. I'm, I'm not never playing the bitch you. you be like, I bet you won't. Mm, nigga, I may, I may not, but you're not gonna get me. Like... <laughs> right. No, like, get away from me. Don't ask me. No. I'm not here. 
See, you a risk taker. That's the problem. That's the problem. That's the real problem, though. Y'all was ready sometimes to take some it. risks. You was gambling that it was, all. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it was worth it. So, at, <laughs> so at, at what at what age did you learn to count? Because I, all these chores, it don't add up. What age did you learn to count? Okay, see, that's there. therein lies a new thing. In our house, education is first. So if, like, say, for example, I was in high school, my brother was in, you know, almost middle school, and then the next one was in kindergarten, and then the other two were really young. So I was helping my younger brother. My younger brother was helping our cousin. Mm -hmm. And then the other two, we would literally, like, I would sit the three-year-old in my lap. And I would say, as I'm reading pages, we would play the alphabet game. So if I said the letter A, he had to say the next letter and wait Mm -hmm. for me to say the letter after that. What obedience. I don't know no kids that act like that. No, one, I don't know no kids who are going to sit in my lap for long. We're going to get to And then we started, and then what I started to do is change it from the numbers. So instead of the alphabet, he learned to count to 26 really quick doing that. Oh, very cool. Interesting. Very cool. And you could start anywhere. So things like that would happen. Okay. But as far as counting chores, it, it wasn't counting chores. It was what you had to do, what who had to do in what room. Got it. Again. It's starting to sound how like clue. Not... So, of course, this is clear. We outnumbered all the adults. Because there comes a point <laughs> where we be we would be like, how do I trick you into doing the shit for me? Like, how do you not cheating on every bet because i would i would i would definitely cheat if i was if it was up to us and it was like the four of us or the six of us depending on who was in the house Mm -hmm. i'm trying to cheat i'm trying to cheat to get out of doing everything i'm gonna (laughs) uh, uh, you know like each of these each of these kids is trying to figure out how to do the least and frankly (laughs) drea was queen of you can't find her Okay, go. She's straight. asleep in the closet. I spent a lot of time straight, in the right? so if <laughs> Come out of the closet, house, maybe. If you were in our house, the way the chores went is, okay, for example, I would have to do most of the chemical cleaning because I was the oldest. But the youngest of us, who chemical was cleaning. about two, nice. his thing was, if you can reach it and you know which way it's supposed to go, mm-hmm. that's where you put it at the door. Got it. So, he was two, and we told him, like, okay, you can't go in the kitchen, but he would take his cup and put it at the kitchen door. That was his chore. Oh, right. okay. So, so, it's like, how would you get out of... Uh, I don't know, man. As, I, think you're looking for, I, I think you're looking for loopholes. I am. I'm looking for loopholes. But yeah. we digress. We digress. So, you, you grew up with it being very normalized. So, what, yeah. in your adult life, how has your how has kink evolved with you in your adult yeah. <laughs> That's probably a better. Weirdo. I am the weirdo amongst my friends. <laughs> I am the weirdo amongst my friends where it's like, you know, th- my response to a girlfriend throwing a fit, you know, come home, want to slam cabinets and, and throw stuff around and angry cooking is one of two things. Either what's wrong with you? Nothing okay or you walk up to her you grab her by the back of the head you grab her by the back of her hair and you kiss her and then go what the hell is wrong with you tell me now or you get a paddle okay <laughs> and eh. i'm a punch somebody i'm a punch somebody i know <laughs> who i am I'm... i never said i was going to hurt you it was just tell me now or you get a paddle you snatched my hair we have a problem right i'm elbowing you it's not it's a reflex it's a reflex yes <laughs> but or, okay it doesn't have to be that but i'm saying like if you were having a a, a i want to throw stuff around attitude type day and let's say for example mm-hmm. drea you are my my lover and you come in i <laughs> if you want to be my lover, you can only get with my friends. Why do, you, oh, why do you always sound like goofy when you sing that song? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, if you want to be my, I don't know. It feels 
like the right voice to dip down into. <laughs> It is, it, oh it is a ball. It is a ball of it's choice. A bold choice. It's a choice. It's a choice. Oh. <laughs> my bad. My bad. You were saying things. I ruined uh, it. My bad. <laughs> if you were, if you and I were in a relationship and you came in with, oh, it, if I were your woman, my my carry on, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. She is really trying to get a point. She is caring. And so I, sorry. We're ruining it, me. What if, I'm trying. I'm trying not Shell. to join you. I'm trying not to join you. We're, we're, okay, we're, okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm okay. sorry. Boom. Okay. We're better at podcasting now. Go. <laughs> if we were in a relationship and I saw you came in with that, that I got an attitude because I really want, you know, a specific sexual thing. Knowing you, uh, not you, Drea, knowing Michelle my response to Michelle would be to walk up behind her, put my arms around her waist, lean my head on her shoulder and go, sweetie, how do you want to handle this? What's the matter? Okay. Mm -hmm. Can we talk about it? You better handle me gentle. Damn it. I don't know how you would need to carry on. I'm not a great person. Handle but... you gentle, and then and then we'll get into the not so gentle later. That's not the point. The point is you can start it in any way, but if you see someone that you care about and you know they're okay with these things, because mm. consent matters. Correct. Consent yes. is key. L- listen to the baby. Ask. <laughs> if you know they're okay with you walking up to tighten them up then do so just be prepared for the puddle that is in their underpants oh i d- puddles that's a that's a good word okay so- <laughs> someone i knew had a dog named puddles mm, not the carry best on way, but we're going <laughs> <laughs> also can I just say y'all were like oh we got company I can't count as company if I know half the whole if I know half the podcast you still company because you ain't been to this house right I've never met I've been to that house we've never I met have been to that house. I have slept in that bed I meant this podcast house oh never mind. we've never Carry met on. you still don't know Carry me on. I'm not here Carry on. I'm a ghost um Carry on. Ooh. Bitch, I'm a ghost. Bitch, I'm a ghost. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I don't want to. I need the most. Okay, so what has been? What has been the most like enlightening thing you found out about yourself or about the community, um, throughout like this kink experience? Yeah. Okay, so I think I'm gonna take this in pieces. Okay. Most enlightening thing I have taken, or I have learned in the community is a lot I mean at this point I'm I'm tempted to even say 98 percent of the community that I have run into is a product of trauma a product of some type of abuse some type of sexual abuse and this community takes them all we bring we 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 bring you in there is warm hugs if you want them and you're okay with touch like we handle you gently but not like your glass and the gentle is the gentle is okay you we know you've been hurt but come on let's, let's let's love on you if that's what you want. If you don't want to be loved on and you just want to be here to experience, that's accepted too. So we're, we're very open and accepting on that part. Now, what have I learned personally? Yeah. Learned, I've learned that I have a superpower. <clears throat> I've learned that I... Um, and Wait, you have a superpower. Yes, I have a superpower. Like a, like, are you like a, <laughs> is it Come like on. a last girl? Is it? No, like- no, no. Superpower as in, um, with permission, I can tell within a cup size 
the proper bra size of any woman that allows me to hold her boobs. Oh, I've never met you. We've never met, but one day you may hold my boobs and you may find <laughs> what my cup size is. Cause I have no clue. She said <laughs> one day you may hold my boobs. It's what a, permission. What a great honor. It is. I feel honored. I love holding my boobs. They're the greatest. They're my comfort pieces. Do you ever just sit and put your hands on your boobs sometimes? On. I put mine in. Don't. Like, I'll just leave my hands inside the side of my bra and just hang out there. That's but, nice. Um, I've learned about myself Sorry. that I am not as hideous as I thought I was. Mm. My skin. You're not, you're not hideous. I, did, I used to think I was like an ugly gorilla linebacker. And no, 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 I'm actually kind of cute. I'm actually kind of really cute. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I mean, Uh, yeah. It's a lot of body positivity. It's a lot of love. And I am more comfortable in those those settings. I'm more comfortable being naked around strangers. I am also comfortable being naked around strangers. I am not as comfortable being naked around strangers. It's very free. But it's not. Mm -hmm. Um... It's it's not to me. <laughs> Understandable. Different strokes. Different strokes. Different, different strokes. strokes. Yes. You know, when I hope my hope for you is you see you the way that I see you and you are fucking fabulous. Fabulistic. Yep, that's a word now. Sure. That's the word now. Yeah. I'm going with hell. <laughs> And, and, you know, you're a majestical <laughs> unicorn mermaid. Unicorn uh, mermaid. There, the, That's a thing now. You gotta have um, both. Does that mean I have a horn? Can someone... Have bad people. I should. You have... I, I want you someone have, to... You have as many horns as will make you happy with as many scales and tails as will make you happy. Yeah. And as many colors. And yes, there will be someone that will come and take a little toothbrush as a way to massage it. Yep. Sure. Okay. I'm going to be all of those things. Um. (laughs) But no, I think it is important. I think that's beautiful that you are able to feel beautiful in your body. I know with, with me, pole was one of those avenues for me Mm -hmm. to make me feel beautiful and not just beautiful but strong and and if kink is your way to feel that then I'm all for it one of the things that I loved the most when we could you know like raw dog outside and people together when we can go back to the out back into the out um, yeah, we can go back into the out. One of my favorite things was party days because I had a ritual or a whole little, you know, whole little get ready with me type situation before picking out my dress and my shoes and my lingerie and my makeup and what I wanted to transform into and what scenes I wanted to do. And yeah, it was a whole thing. I had a whole playlist for music that I only played for that it was such a big thing and then you come home kind of sore tired happy euphoric I mean like subspace and dom space are two different oh girl if you ever get a chance to go go I've never but I'm interested if you have asked ask all your questions girl I can tell you I'm interested. So I don't, I don't know if you know, but I have big sub energy. Like I have big sub energy. I, you do. You do. I'm, I'm a, I'm happy to just be like, I'm here guys. So I do want to hear, hear about like subspace, dom space. What are, what, sh- what's your, these things? What, what do they mean? What are they? <laughs> okay. So dubs, oh, dub, not dub space. No, that's, that's a different thing. That's, that's a different thing. I feel like it's a dubstep, dubstep. like I our was name. Dubstep. I was that close. Subspace <laughs> is when you get to the point of you have so much adrenaline that you're kind of floating mm-hmm. and you don't feel 
well, okay, you feel, but you kind of feel drunk because your body has done so many natural releases. So you get to the point where, you know, all your senses are heightened and things are a little woozy and you just feel good. It's so, um, if you've ever smoked some of the best weed in your life, take that, multiply it times 10, add a little bit of pain if you're into it. And that's subspace. Fun times, USA. I'm into mm-hmm. it. I'd try it. I'll try anything once. Not anything. So, I'll try most things once. Most. <laughs> Not all. Hi. I got lines. Good. <laughs> I, I, I like I I, I draw the line at incest it. and heroin. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 I those are those are some pretty there's a lot of things that are open um there you know what? Baby, steps, baby steps baby steps <laughs> Drea said Drea said no heroin um and no incest yes. and no crack uh, yes yes to all of that yes we, those are the boundaries we can work on everything else oh yeah mm-hmm. I'm probably I'm sure I have other boundaries I just can't I don't know what they are yet <laughs> These are, these are like boundary boundaries like so okay so tell me tell me this because I, I like labels labels make me feel safe uh-huh uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> he was like I just want to be included I did I did <laughs> it's okay <laughs> I, I know you so well anyway um so like what if you had to label yourself, what are the labels you would give yourself? I am a master sadist, poly, poly, yeah, we'll go with that. Master sadist, polyamorous chick with, yeah. with tomboy tendencies and bratty tem- tendencies. All those words. You heard it here first, hot off the presses. First time I've ever done that. So yeah. Good. I um I say master because that is the title in which I am going for. A lot of, you know, female I don't know how to say this and I don't want anybody, so I'm just gonna say female thinking or okay. female people that identify. Female, female presenting female, or feminine female. or feminine presenting yes or female a lot of them, yeah a lot of female i ident- female pe- nah! what what michelle said a lot of them go for the title mistress mm-hmm. i want to be a master because as far as i know there's only one on the eastern seaboard there is Interesting. that's cool I, and I am her kink niece. How fun! Very, very, very. So I figured, I mean, I could choose that title because, well, female presenting cis girl, but like, no, mm, I think I want to hang out with the big boys. I, I like say go it. for it. You know what? You live your dreams. It's not as hard as it may seem. Gotta work to get the dress. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for the rest of that rhyme because sometimes it happens. Yeah. <laughs> I mean it though. Live your dream. I'm in I'm into this idea. Go for it. Be a master. Be a, yeah. guys, be a master at at what you're going. Play with the big boys. Also, okay, <laughs> but as far as my K thing, I'm a sadist. I'm a I'm a top sadist, so um, for those that don't know, I said sadist, not Satanist. I don't, I don't There's think- a difference, hoes. Sorry. It is. <laughs> I don't think that the devil has got anything to do with this. I'm just saying sadist, as in I like to cause pain and torture. That is a dom space. Oh, dom space. Dom space is, is. Yeah, tell us this you- one. If you could take um, all the Red Bull and like five shots of adrenaline. Sounds like a heart attack. Carry on. on. Hang on. Hang on. Five shots of adrenaline 
and someone gives you the consent to their skin and their body and it's a focused thing I get sweat. I normally don't have sweaty palms. I get sweaty palms and cold fingers. Michelle will tell you my hands are never cold unless I'm sick. Um, I get sweaty palms, cold fingers. I am giddy and laughing. You think I'm high and I actually am. It is the best. Ugh. I prefer dom space over subspace and I've been to both. Okay. Look, you gotta know what you like. It's okay. Again, try try it out if you're not right. in, if you're not sure. But I'm you've tried. You're here for it. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, I subscribe. I highly subscribe. <laughs> Notifications turned on. I'm there daily. Yes, I subscribe. <laughs> <Heard it. laughs> I Click subscribe. the like button. It was here. But, okay, was so here. for newbies, so I am fairly new to the kink community i'm not i'm not very well versed in it Mm -hmm. right yeah like there's there's things for me to learn so for 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 us newbies out here Mm -hmm. what would you suggest if we were looking to get into the community if we were looking to you know have more of these types of experiences yeah um since you're listening to this podcast i can give you some basics safe sane and consensual you must do things that are safe safe for you and the person you were playing with you must do things that are sane as in you're not going to break your psyche or anyone else's psyche doing what you want to do mm-hmm. you must have okay. consent you must have consent in all parties in all auxiliary parties Because a lot of times we think about the one-on-one, but we don't think about the people that are passing by that might be affected by it. There's that. Mm -hmm. Now, breaking into it, understand kindergarten rules matter. Keep your hands, feet, and teeth to yourself. You ask to go somewhere. You ask before you touch something. Makes sense. You make sure you stay close to teacher. You should go with somebody that understands you are new, you don't know everything, and you are under their protection. If you don't have somebody with you that offers their protection, which is they're going to keep you safe, they're going to look out for you, and they're going to put, they're going to stake their reputation for you. Uh If you don't have those three things, go find someone else. That's real. Okay, so where do you find these folks? Like, yeah, how do you find these peeps? Um, FetLife is a great way to look. FetLife.com mm-hmm. is a great way to find things happening in your city. Fun Times USA. And from FetLife, you can go to Kick and to um, Discord. There is a Kink Talk on TikTok where you go through and you can learn all the basics and you can explore and find out through TikTok. You can even find out just a little bit and jujul it. And jujul like, it. I want everyone to know that Denisha is writing this down. <laughs> I am writing things down. Jujuling things matters you got to know what you're researching guys you do and that's okay because believe it or not when I realized there were names for the things that I liked it brought me into a whole new world of being able to label it and once you start finding out oh there's a name for that and then there's a name for that and then Mm -hmm. there's a name for that I didn't know for example I did not know there's a thing called corseting is that something to do with painful. putting on a corset? It sounds painful. It it if you're not into this kind of thing, it is painful because it's considered needle play. Oh. Wait. Tell me more. Back up. Tell me more. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> in needle play is a person puts hypodermic, clean 
always use fresh packets. Hypodermic needles into the skin Mm -hmm. at a certain distance, and they take a ribbon and gently crisscross the ribbon around the the needles. Yeah, around the end, and they take pictures. Now, some of the things that I saw on my first party was someone did that and then smacked the corset spot. I mean, reach back to Isis and her walking the planet next to Ra and smacked all the way down with all the power of the ancestors and the slaves that didn't make it over here on that ship and smacked that little needled section and when it but, started but, started but, to bleed, he choked her with the bloody hand. Wearing a glove, of course. But choked her with the bloody hand. Feels okay. You know. She um, was here for it. She if was if she it. was here for it, you know. Good on her. Uh, but that ain't my that ain't my thing. That ain't my that's, ministry. That's, I feel like you just I, I, need to know that's, that's not your ministry. That you need to right. know what your ministry is. <laughs> that wasn't my ministry, but it did put an impact on me to be like, huh, that's a thing. Next activity. And th- that's where I went. It's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Also, another But also thing- dry needling. I feel like dry needling is it was dry needling. It it's it's just a it's just another form of dry needling. In a way, kind of. It feels like Actually, it. no no no. It is dry needling. It is dry needling just with impact with impact and that's yeah. fine i enjoy a good dry needle do you hear me i'm i'm here for yeah. a good dry needle from a licensed physical therapist <laughs> professional. <laughs> a licensed professional who has been trained to do it i'm fine with a great dry needling i am not okay with that that gave me goosebumps i don't and know you know what i get it but yeah. that's okay i'm not gonna get that um but Right, and then, okay, well, yeah. and what ended up happening before that scene, before that party, I ended up at, and that's another great thing for newbies, find a munch, yes, I said munch, M-U-N-C-H, munch. Like crunch what a munch. They, yes, like crunch a munch. I can't. What they, what they are is, it's a meet and greet with food, so you oh, get fun. to eat. Oh, I'm more interested now. Tell me more. That sounds you like a good to, thing. You get to go to a restaurant, a vanilla restaurant. Great, a restaurant because I don't do potlucks because cats. Oh. But no, you go to a vanilla restaurant. Everyone meets there. There's usually, they usually reserve a room. So like if it's Golden Corral, they, you know, they do the little divider situation mm-hmm. or, you know, something like that. And um. You eat and you talk about, you know, certain topics or you're just like, hey, I'm a newbie. They have newbie munches. A lot of communities have newbie munches where the newbies come in and they meet the people that are always there. And it's like, hey, you know, this is me. This is what I look like. I'm a person, not a catfish. You're safe. You get good vibes. Are you going to come to the next party? It's also Where'd you a find wedding. these munches. That is where the FetLife um, forums come in. Gotcha. You can type in munch in your, you know, munch in your city. Hmm. Sometimes because we live in this country, um, the U.S., mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's far and spread out. So be prepared to drive. You might have to go to a major city to find it. Right. That's real. So if you don't live in a major city, sorry. Be ready it. to go. Be ready yeah. to, right. to, to have to, you know, take a lesson. That's a great point. I mean, luckily, I don't know. I like living in metropolitan areas. Yeah. I've, I've, I've for the last five to six years, I've tried to make sure I stayed in a metro area. Mm-hmm. But I'm sure, you know, before I was in this area, it probably would have been harder for me to find these communities. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a great point. I yeah. think it's going to okay, be Okay, so h- here's the thing that I'm, I'm always interested in when it comes to this. Because, I mean, munches, yeah, okay, great. But let's 
let's be real. Let's talk about how is the like acceptance of people of color at these things because I've I don't know if there are a lot of kinky freaky people of color going to these things. <laughs> Why are you I feel like there are a lot of them, but I don't know if they. I don't kinky. feel like that. Yeah, they're going. I, to I don't these know things. if they're joiners. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. So. Again, I am an outlier because I I was originally introduced into a hub. So there is very rarely, I have to remember, I live in the United States. And even though King community is accepting, sometimes they can be clicky and exclusive. Mm -hmm. I have to put that out there. It's like any other high school we're the rejects of the rejects and some rejects have even more rejects okay. just saying you can't sit with us we get it <laughs> um, sometimes. sometimes now there are others where they not only accept people of color they want more people of color they mm. don't like the fact that it is so segregated but they understand that a lot of us are afraid. A lot of us don't know if we'll be safe. So they don't necessarily make a big deal of it. Uh-huh. But they okay. would prefer it to be more diverse. They welcome, like, okay, for example, one of the community, one of the communities in which I hang out in the circles I hang out in is a biker gang. Mm. I can't tell you which one, but it's mostly a white white biker gay gotcha interesting and they they identify as a gang not a club well they're a club but i'm saying i'm, I'm from the i was a child of the 80s so you they're see a bunch gang. Of people on motorcycle it's a it's a biker gang <laughs> <laughs> anyway what i'm saying is it's a you, gang. You, it's a gang you of i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> it felt right it felt right <laughs> you see them and like for me they see me as precious so if i'm upset at some person that's in their club they remove him or her okay that's awesome i feel like that's that's awesome but i feel like that's too much power for you no it's not because i generally i'm a social butterfly and they know that if i have a problem with you then it's really a problem like okay. I try to get, I try my best to just get along with everybody or leave you alone. But if I'm coming up to, you know, one of my mentors, because I haven't gotten my title yet, one of my mentors, masters, and I'm going, this person made me feel weird. Are they okay? He's going to go investigate. Mm. That makes sense. And that's what should happen within, I think, the right. community, at least an investigation. Yeah, like, like we know b- in believe America, people. Right. Mm-hmm. Believe people. We know in America that's just not necessarily always the case. Always the case. And we know that investigation may turn up nothing. But again, believe people. Right. So for the newbies, I highly recommend, like I said, find somebody that believes in safe words, that believes in staking their reputation to keep you safe. And then go for it if you're going alone. It's okay to be alone. It's okay to be a person of color in a, you know, mostly milk room. Yeah. Okay. It's like. okay. Just understand that they're they're not going to, you might see them give you a little bit more interest because they want to try to make you feel like you're okay. Right. Don't be weird. Don't, don't, don't be make weird. it weird though. Cause I will. Yeah. yeah. I'm a runner, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so she's I'm they, a runner, they bitch. Make it weird, but they might they might make a point to be like, "Hey, are you okay? Do you need anything? You know, right? How can find us? Check in with you." But then after that, it'll be like, "Oh, okay. Well, here's our our event planner. We hope to see you around." Gotcha. Mm. That's awesome. But I've also found out that we've kind of sequestered ourselves away, so there are a lot of black kink groups that's just black people Mm. and I'm like "Uh, I mean I'm not upset about it I wish that we could be more diverse because Mm. there's a lot of kinky people and we could make a big dent in the whole you know 
we're divided type situation. Right. Yeah. I say, you know, again, for those don't sit with us people, you get a lot more when you diversify. Just going yeah. To that. Yeah. And so, you you can sometimes exclude people based on voice or based on like how they might present in text. And I, I'm saying this, L, I'm not harping on you. I'm so sorry. But like, you're not the first person to say that to me. You're not the first person by and large to say that to me. Um, so it's one of those things. And it's, and I understand that sometimes like, that's just how my voice comes across my family, my own family, the heifers that they happen to be. Tend you call to, them heifers? Yes. Tend to. All of them? Yeah. Talk about how I speak. <laughs> I ain't talking about it. So I got how I speak. Up in that. Even the I ones you rank? It. Huh? Even the ones you rank? Yeah. All um, Well, the younger ones are a little better. They're a little better, but that's because they're, they're Gen Z's. And Gen Alphas, you know, they they got exposed a lot better. But them older niggas, them older ones, them. <laughs> I swear to God, I said I said the word elated in front of my my dad's side of my family, and they have not let me live that down. I said that word in 2010. Well, why did you say that word? I was oh, elated. Oh, no. What do you mean? No, no. That is that is not acceptable. We should at least expect the best vocabulary amongst ourselves. I was elated. And therefore I, I said it. <laughs> and I'm ecstatic that you were elated. Thank you. I think I it's said great. it. I, there is a section of my family that refuses to say anything other than, oh, look, Miss Elated is here. Bitches. This is why Are I you serious? I guarantee you. This is why I don't come. Y'all be confused why, uh, why you know, we don't ever be coming. Yeah. Thank you. I knew my name eventually. Uh, <laughs> this is why I don't be coming around. I don't come to the cookouts. I don't come. I ain't got time for this one. So that's, I, that's why you listen with the Lord willing and the creek don't rise all the time. All the, all the time all the time i'm gonna see what i'm gonna do that's my favorite line i'm gonna see what i it can is. do see what the lord say her second one is who are who are coming who are coming <gasps> who, are gonna gonna who are all over there who's gonna be there because i ain't got it <laughs> that's how you know they that's how you know black folks ain't showing up well who are gonna be there who are gonna be there but okay. especially who, who like, cooking what but it feels like it might be hard for newbies Right, that are POCs or not to get up in there, especially because no. to because well, I'm just saying because you said black people sequester themselves, or am I wrong? No, 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 no. There, I have seen groups mm. that have sequestered themselves away, but no, I am fully paid on my melanin bill and will walk just as naked through some other white man's house and he just looks at me and goes hey little one there is no difference there's no I, exception I don't like this little one talk and no okay he calls me little one because I'm shorter than him I, I uh -huh, it seems it seems height discriminatory <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh! You, you know what? You are not little. You are travel size, and that is a full size everything. It's full of flavor. There you go. I like it. I'm gonna steal it. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, one of the last questions, and then we're gonna get to a little fun game that Ooh. we have. Is what the what is one thing that you want people to walk away from this conversation understanding about the kink community? And about kink. Yeah. Okay. I can't say one thing, but I can say this for sure. You are safe. You are wanted and you are welcome. Okay. okay. Your boundaries will be respected. And if you don't have any boundaries, you will before you leave. Because somebody is going to help you set some up. I need help with that. 
I need help. Girl, call me. We can go together. <laughs> I need just in life. I need help setting boundaries with my family. I need help setting boundaries. Okay, okay. So if you need help setting boundaries, then then Mama Bear will help you. It's just <laughs> simple. Repeat after me. No. Mm, I don't like that word. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're telling other people, not you. You're telling other people, no. Why is it so hard? <laughs> Why is oh. it? Okay, okay. Watch this. Watch this. No. So, watch this. No. Uh-uh. <laughs> is that, uh, that uh, work? Uh-uh. uh-uh works. <laughs> I said, uh-uh works. Or how about this? <laughs> I ain't. No. <laughs> ain't. Ain't. That works too. Ain't. Ain't. <laughs> there you go. Ain't. I'm working up to it. I'm working up to it. No, it's not. So it's a, it's a, a I'm not going to do it. She can't or, say that. That's how hard. About this, how about this? You can't make me do it. You can't make me do it is a good one. I you like can't that. Make me do you it. can't make me. There you go. But oftentimes they can. They can make me. No, no they can't. No, 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 no. You <laughs> They press me a couple no. times. I'm probably gonna be like, all right, fine. <laughs> oh, fine. You know what? You know what? When we when you find yourself a good top, a good safe top. They'll say no for you, and then you can sit there and just be like, mm, <laughs> "Looking out at them in the background." That's all you gotta do. Oh hey, my lord! I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna work on it. Say stop. Good I'm gonna find one. I gotta find one. Man, I'm, I'm. I will be so happy for you when you do. Girl, call me. Just, just get my aunt, call me, and I will. We will help you find one, yo. Oh jeez. Somebody. Uh, to- Oh, speaking of religion, how about this? Somebody to stand in the gap for you. Oh, no. <laughs> right? Praise him in the hallway. Oh, goodness. Oh, praise him in the hallway. I don't know how to fix it. Jesus. Oh. I couldn't help it. I had to. You, you did. You chose said, this. I this was a choice. I, said, <laughs> I don't know how to fix it, Jesus. I- I also don't. But okay, <laughs> I'm gonna let it happen. Just, 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 just praise him. Just praise him. I'm gonna just wave <gasps> my hand. I'm crying. I'm crying. <laughs> Look, after after you done all you can, you just stand. You just stand. <laughs> <laughs> you just stand. Ooh. There you go. That was a goofy. Oh my gosh! It was. <laughs> it was. Oh, that was enlightening good. though that was good that was a good talk oh, yeah I learned so much I wrote yeah. down all the things I need to jujel I got jujel please jujel please jujel and if you can't friend. find it during jujel then call me and I will connect you to somebody that doesn't have to jujel they will just tell you yeah we're not giving out Elle's personal information unless Elle would like us to but I doubt it I have to set up a whole, a whole separate just for this. And I think if I'm invited back to the house to play with y'all, yeah, you can have one of those set up so that you know anyone listening can email me and ask questions. Why not? We'll have to. I like we'll have it. to have you back with you and your partners. Yeah, because we we definitely didn't didn't we didn't jump touch on, on Polly yet pretty at much. all. No. Well, we can just do it now. I'm polyamorous. I have two boyfriends, and they know about each other. It's consenting. Done. There you go. I think these yeah. trying to set me up, but they know about each other. Yeah, they, they know, know each other. <laughs> Actually, the fun thing about it is they kind of treat me like a football whenever I'm traveling between them. There you go. So Do they just punch you know each other? No, they don't punt her. No, no. They it, ensure it, a safe handoff. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had to and, ask. And your mind went to, oh, they kick her across they state lines. Punch her. They just, it's like I think you, Charlie Brown and the you football. You're really, really, really into impact. You're, you're violent. <laughs> it's fun. I am violent. There's a, I choose violence on a, on a often basis. Yeah. Take down would yeah. be a thing that you might enjoy. Not if it's the what's the one you told me about? The tickle takedown? I think she might fight somebody. I would oh, fight somebody. Yeah. I would tickle easily takedown. fight somebody. Don't tickle me. 
Tickle take yeah, tickle take down. That's that's a special breed right there. Because all it is is somebody is tickling you and they just don't stop. So no, I barely like being touched. So nah, bro. <laughs> yep. Nah, bro. Don't tickle me. That's how you get need in the grind. Don't and matter. You know what? They will just be prepared for that and like wear a cup and like you know protect the vital whatevers. And I'm then not happy they about tickle it. You. Oh, I'm, oh. I'm not okay about it. My okay, th- well, no tickles for you. No tickles for me, man. I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> but we could totally like you know wrestle. Yeah. That's fine. I where it, it's set up where you win. Right. I, I don't. You know, it, I, could be rigged. it could be a rig. We've already established during this, this session that I'm a cheater. I'll happily take a rigged fight. <laughs> and I'm a cheater. I'm a cheater. Y'all, okay. Cheat. I understand that the <laughs> listeners can't see this. My face is puffy from tears and wiping. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I've been cracking up. I'm sorry. Don't do it. We're no, not, not sorry. We're not, not sorry. <laughs> not sorry. <laughs> okay, so do you have any specific other questions? Any curiosities? No, I do, but we're going to have them offline because I don't need people to know just how far I'm going yet. Because again, <laughs> as I established, I am still like I've, I've known about what I like for quite some time, but I just have not explored the community very much. And and I want to. I think I'm at a p- point in life where I'm like, yeah. Let's I have explore. recommended. I recommend it. Go explore. If you can if you can experience the community in the same sense that I got to, and I highly recommend that somebody okay, I recommend for newbies when we can have gatherings again, you go to a kink party mm-hmm. and you just, you know, you take your little your little guardian person that's watching over you and you're like I want to walk around and see what's happening in all the scenes right and that's allowed that is something in the community that you can do you can sit in on someone else's scene as long as it's in a public space right if they got a door closed don't go busting that evil door you don't need to be like tap tap hey hey y'all it's me now yeah that makes sense you can just go in quietly and sit down and or lean against the wall, however, and mm-hmm. let the scene happen. And you will learn so, so much. And I'm sure so you'll much. learn a lot about yourself, too. Yeah, yeah, I did. That's how I found out I was a sadist. Fun times. I was watching somebody in an impact scene. And every time the master pulled out a new implement, I was subconsciously clapping and giggling. <laughs> <laughs> that that happened. And every time he swung the implement and it made a sound, I was jumping like I, I was afraid and then Ooh. clapping and giggling, but all subconscious. I don't remember any of it. The people around me were concerned and were like trying to, okay, you're not being hit. Let's let's move you in. I was like, no. No, no, I want to stay. I want to stay. Oh. And like, are you okay? I was like, yes. And they're like, hmm, you know, you're jumping every time he does that. What? No. Didn't and that's it. when that's when the particular master, whom is one of my mentors, was like, she's in sub, she's in dom space, but by proxy, <laughs> she's happy. Yeah. She doesn't know what's happening. And I was like, hit him again. Hit him again. Do it again. <laughs> Do it again. Do it again. Yeah. Do it again. Yeah. I had to very much so do it again. But it was fun. It was a lot of fun. See, and that's the thing. Like, you know, it's okay to have fun with whatever kink you have as long as it's consensual and being safe and things. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it's okay to have fun with it. You don't have to just, you know, be sitting there repressed. Oh, the repression. That is one thing that in the community slowly but surely anybody that is repressed if you're in the community and you stay there Mm. you won't be repressed very long any inhibitions any you know 
hesitations, especially when it comes to playing games. Oh, girl, the games we get to play. The, g- Ooh, the games we get to you play. You said that like, oh, the places we'll go. Oh, oh the games <laughs> okay, we'll for play. Example, the, for example, one of the games that as soon as we can do this again, um, greased up pool noodle fights. That sounds like it's going to fuck with a pool filter. I don't... No, 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 no. Pool noodle fights. So what you do is you cover yourself in like Vaseline or like something slippery and shiny. Mm-hmm. You put on like, you know, a little bikini or whatever, your little bra and panties. And then you take a pool noodle, the little floaty noodles, mm-hmm. and you bop your opponent until they say, ouch. Oh, fun times. See, that's a thing I've done without being greased up. And it's still fine. <laughs> the grease is because we're doing it on hardwood floors. So ah. there's the fun. It's like, don't slip and fall. But also, pull noodle the crap out of your partner. There you go. I like that. I feel like that's a childhood game just made for adults and for sexual purposes. Well, not even sexual persons. Not So that's one other question. Like, do you feel all kink has to be sexual in nature? No, not at all. As a matter of fact, my master, my late master, our entire relationship was non-sexual. The closest we got to our uglies possibly being in the same six inches was a hug. (laughs) Not the uglies. Seriously, the closest we got was a hug. The uglies? Yeah, you know when you you do the naked dance, the the no pants dance, the bumping uglies, the beast with two backs, you know. <laughs> the... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna just start doing that instead. You know, the... I can't. Every time, I can't. Oh, but... funny story. I met I met this master. She's talking about. Yeah, oh, she did. Fun time. And... And like I said, the closest our uglies came within six inches was for a hug. There you I go. was having a panic attack and he was holding on to me. Oh, no panic attacks. Well, you know, mental health. But that was it. Job. Like, they don't have to be sexual. They can be. Mm-hmm. But I think that takes it to a whole new level. And it's not a bad one. It's just, it, it's, mm, I said a whole new level and my brain went a whole oh, new, new world. world. <laughs> no, my brain went. I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. <laughs> Whatever that rap song says, I don't you know don't any even, more words. You don't. Even, do you even know who was by? Not a clue. Okay. Okay. So Not done. So yeah, no, they don't have to be. They don't have to be inherently sexual. They can be, mm. but they don't have to be. No beautiful well one of the things one of the misconceptions about bdsm and kink is they confuse that with orgies those are totally different worlds yeah literally totally different worlds most bdsm there is no sex you know what's funny i i knew i knew that but the thing the reason why I think it's like that that people equate BDSM with sex Mm -hmm. is because the way that mainstream the mainstream population hears about BDSM is through a romance novel like something like Fifty Shades or you know okay let me let me just do this now while I can for the listeners (laughs) BDSM and Fifty Shades of Grey are not, no, fuck that. Fifty Shades of Grey is straight up 100% abuse. That Great. is not. Yeah, that I is think so not too. BDSM. That is not kink. That is not close to it. That is not adjacent to it. That is not in the same neighborhood, city, state, country, or globe. They are not the same thing. She's saying they yeah i agree <laughs> it's you do not reward. it's just traumatizing <laughs> you don't abuse someone and then call it kink that's real yeah 
That's you don't right. mentally hurt someone and call it kink. Kink is not about hurting hurting anybody's mental health. That's real. Remember, safe, sane, consensual. And consensual. Yeah. Those we learned the, the thing. The two S's and the C's. You see? I listen. The two we S's and the today. C's. Come on. We learned today. <laughs> Sorry. So, all right, so we're off the soapbox, but we learned a lot, and we thought to, it would be fun if we played kind of like, almost like a two truths and a lie type game, only but with kink. So we're going to say three words, and you mm-hmm. have to tell me which one is not a kink. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're going to do it for everybody. Everybody's got to take a turn. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's gonna get a roll to roll around in it. Okay. 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 <laughs> so I'll I'll go first with my two. Three. Two three. and a lie. <laughs> um, and I'll pose it to Michelle so that you get the idea. Okay? okay. Okay. And if there are any that people we will also define the true ones for anybody out there who may not know what they mean. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So the three are getophobia, neurotophobia, and impregnation. Okay. Wait. So say the first one again. I'm so wrong. I said those all wrong anyway. All three of those were wrong. <laughs> None of those were correct words. It's <laughs> getophilia. Get a because you said phobia, and I, I was said like, phobia, <laughs> not a thing. Getophilia, neurotophilia, and impregnation. So I, I am so sure that impregnation is one, like it's real. Um, how do you spell the gyrophobia? Philia, philia, philia. yeah, because yeah. I said it wrong. It's yeah. G U I R O P H I. L I A. Do not look it up. I'm not looking it up. I was I was trying to see if I could Oh, you're looking for the Latin roots. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the other one was Nerophilia? Narrophilia. Shit, man. So impregnation is one. I know it is. All right, come on. Where's the line? Um, <laughs> oh, oh. That, that's the first one with the G. That is the lie. I made that shit up. Okay, so what's 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 the definition of the other two? So impregnation, true kink, it's the fascina- <laughs> fascination with making someone pregnant um, or conception during sex, typically from a man's point of view. Um, narrativeia is a fetish shared by those who enjoy telling stories. At um, and listening to stories that are dirty in nature, um, talking about sex or incorporating dirty talk into sex. Oh, you so have ev- it. I also <laughs> have it. So every housewife, every housewife, basically. Yeah, L-, L got it. Anybody too. who That's reads think- romance so novels right. probably has a bit read of them, I write them. There's a difference. Well, That's, those that doesn't two make it worse. Like, like, how does that make it better? It doesn't. it doesn't. It says it doesn't. enjoys telling and or listening. Both of these things can be true. <laughs> mm-hmm. So you be telling the stories. Yeah. That's what I heard. Okay. Okay. This one's for Al. Ready? Okay. It is uvulophilia, vaccinophilia, retifism. Say that again. Uvulophilia. Vaccinophilia and retifism. I think retifism is the lie. Wrong. Uvulophilia is the lie. I made that ah, shit up. Not it was about a uvula. I just thought of I know. Word. You want to know the funny yeah. thing? You want to know the funny thing? What's up? I actually know somebody that is has a fetish about people's uvula, uvula, you know, the little dangly thing in the back of their throat. The, the uvula. Uvula. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, I know somebody that actually has that fetish for real. That's weird because I just made it up. I named it for you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Red <laughs> Wait, all I can think about, all I can think about is the, the movie um, Monster House. Yeah. <laughs> where they look at it and it's like, and then she ha- the house has the and then has the uvula and the boy's like, oh, so she's a girl house. Like, no, no, everyone has one of those. <laughs> Everybody's got that. Um, vaccinophilia is a vaccination fetish. Um, mm-hmm. I thought that's and, what that was. Yeah, you can also see like medical play or yeah. melanophilia. And Can't they? what? Melanophilia. Oh, I heard, I heard melanophilia. Like, I was like, like melanoma. No, like, no. <laughs> la, 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 la. Um, and then retifism. Res, res, retifism. There you go. <laughs> the, uh, that is a fetish for shoes and footwear. Oh, oh, right. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Also known as right. alto calcifilia. Yeah. Feet have weird names. Feet have a lot of weird names. I didn't know that. I'm just, I'm just agreeing and sounding comp, sounding like I do, because like I don't want to be left out. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good, right. Michelle. You try some. Okay, okay. Um, I have. Okay, I'm gonna do this one for you, Drea. I'm scared. You haven't. I'm gonna Why? lose. Okay, I know. <sighs> okay, so there. The first one. <laughs> It, you know what? Not that one. I'm gonna choose a different one. Whoa, Here we go. Hey. No, it's fine. It's because I feel like you're gonna get that one, and I want I wanted to make it challenging. So when you do get it, you feel accomplished. Um, or I just want to win. You had too much faith. So, here, okay, here they are: sounding, vodophilia, and vicarophilia. I feel like vodophilia is wrong. I Are feel you like sure? Sounding is a thing. Carophilia, I feel like, is a thing. Because it reminds me of Vickers. I don't know if it has anything to do about it, but it feels like something to do with the church. So, yeah, I'm going to go <laughs> vodophilia is probably not a thing. Am I right? Am I wrong? Did I lose? I lost. You didn't even let me tell you if you were right or wrong yet. <laughs> For the record, you got it right. I made hey! a spot of Philia. Surprising everybody. Yes. So, and the car Philia is not, has, does not have anything to do with father anyone. Really? Okay. <laughs> it doesn't. It's being, it's, it's being sexually vicarious. Oh. Specifically related to enjoying other stories of sexual activity. I feel again like housewives. There you go. That's what you got. Yeah, the housewives where you, they they only having sex once a month now. Right. They they be asking for their single friends to tell them all about it. I feel like that's mm-hmm. what it is. That's what. It, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. What was the other one? Sounding. I know I've heard yeah. of sounding before. I just don't remember what it means. Yeah. Um. Ooh ooh ooh! Can I tell her? I scared. You but know, sure tell her. Tell her. Sounding is when, <clears throat> with lots of lube, you insert a metal piece, a solid metal piece, into the urethra of a guy. And then you wiggle it upside down, up and down, adding more lube as you go. Got it. But Okay. You know what? If it's if it's your thing, it's your thing. I'm not no, gonna stop the you. That, the fact that the word "fuck" fell out of your face <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hilarious. Mm, shit. Ah, uh-huh. mm-hmm. that sounds that sounds like it's gonna be an experience. I not an experience you want. <laughs> I don't have a male urethra, so I can't tell you. <laughs> but if I did have one, I doubt that's what I'd be into. But you know, okay. Don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> All right, go for it. Oh, go for it. Is it me again? 
Yeah, yeah. I did too. You did. You did. Um, so here's here's one. Um, Axarasi. Axarasi. Yeah. Spelled A C T I R A S T Y. Uh-huh. R E S B E C T. Sorry. <laughs> that's not that's not what I said. Um agoraphilia or mm-hmm. autophilia. Okay. So agoraphilia, if I'm not mistaken, agora is large. I think. I think. Don't don't quote me on that. Um so the one wait, my brain just went blank because a naked man naked man walked by. Um, can you give me the <laughs> list again? <laughs> I'm sorry, my thoughts we went didn't because see you it. told what happened? we didn't we didn't see the naked a man. Naked man walked by. In his natural habitat. And here we see a naked man. Walking in his natural habitat. Wait, I'm sorry. My brain went completely blank. 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 All right. We got to finish this game. So, L can go tend to this naked man. (laughs) He's really in in need of her assistance. (laughs) He doesn't, actually. We could could actually stay here for hours. He would be just fine. Okay. You were saying? I don't think you'd be just fine. But anyway. I'm blocking him out. I'm blocking him out. You got my full <laughs> Okay, okay. A- Actorosity. Actorosity. Yes. And agoraphilia and autophilia. Oh, actorosity is the wrong one. Are you sure? No, no, I'm Are not. Are you trying not to anymore. trick us? Let, let her Agor- live. Agoraphilia. I, 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 final answer, agoraphilia. That's not that's not a thing. Okay. Are you sure? Yes. I'm just playing with you. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Drea, Drea's like, help up. She said <laughs> final answer. Stop making people start guess themselves. <laughs> so, okay. So actually the made up kink is autophilia. So no. mm-hmm. so I've never heard of any of these. Sound things. is a thing. No, so actorosity is arousal by the rays of the sun. So, like, it do something for you. Um, it says, this may be enjoyed through sex outside. Ooh. And it's really funny that that's the one I chose just thinking about it now because agoraphilia is the fetish dedicated to sex in public places. So someone who suffered from one marries someone who suffered from the other, they would have great sex in parks and and backyards but no autophilia is a thing like we all have autophilia i don't know no what's the word what's the other one that we're confusing it with there's another one that we are confusing it it's like basically you're saying you're turned on by sound no 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 auto not audiophilia so oh. audio, yeah but audio autophilia is a thing but it's not a kink necessarily it's um, a fetish but not a kink yeah it's like self-love got it's it spe- especially sexual attraction so, wait to, wait you know. wait so i feel like case, i feel like that that's was, a trick that question tri- that was, that was that's a trick, a trick question. question it's a fetish. There was no wrong answer in that okay wow, so I, I need you to first of all i need you to know something off the top of my head I came up with autophilia and so you were so adamant that it was a thing I I googled it and that was the definition that came up it's it apparently another it's another synonym for narcissism yeah so, yeah is that a kink is narcissism a kink I saw the naked man hey, there was a naked man back there <laughs> hey naked man Naked How many points? I saw you. <laughs> and the crazy he can't hear you because he's wearing earbuds. He just walked around topless. And I'm just like, skin, wait, what? I'm sorry. This is the kink episode, and I look like all types of a nymphomaniac that I might be, but that's not the naked. Oh, another naked. He, uh, he just Same touched naked her man. Hair. Same naked man. There's only there's only two. I only have two. I'm trying to get three. Same preferably if anyone's listening and is like you know, you want a girlfriend that's five, eight, 
and brown skin with natural hair d- hit me up but that's not the point <laughs> did you just did you just hijack this podcast to she become used it as a personal ad <laughs> she used it as a personal ad okay she okay said, okay speaking. i just need to know <laughs> okay 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 are we craigslist back page or are we like old time newspaper oh if we go use this as a personal how about, ad. how about that how about this we're old version web page so it's just a chat room okay oh okay okay so we're not, we're not paper we're not paper we're online it's just you know dial up <laughs> I don't want to be dialed. You need the disc it. to be able to do it. And for those of you that don't know about the internet being on a disc, you're too young. To leave. I agree. I, yeah. I agree. Yeah. That means if you if you belong to any of my brothers and sisters, you better get out. I don't know how you found out. I have this. Put it down. <laughs> we don't tell nobody nothing. <laughs> And this, this is look. If if you were gonna listen to us, this is not the episode. This ain't the this episode. Is not the episode. It's not the episode. Oh it, I will find an episode for you, children. But this ain't this. That's that ain't this, and this ain't that. We're gonna do. They can listen to the ones about the movies. They can yes. listen to the ones about the music. Yes. Don't listen. You to could me. even listen to the one about the resolute desk and the chips. You could. Which yeah, I don't remember. I d- that's like the I, first episode. That's, is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh shit! You know what? Y'all, they say? we don't listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but you know what? They we say? barely talk on it. Let's be real. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, the first cut is the deepest, man. That's why I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> you me with <laughs> Baby, I know. Yes. Oh. Oh my gosh. I'm jamming. Okay. But okay. um that was fun. Hmm? Who's do we it? wanna do huh? She said whose turn is it? Who's on first? I'll go. What the this is for? Is- huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I said who's on first. She said what's on second. It's a whole skit. It's a whole, it's one of my favorite old time skits. It's in black and white. They remastered it to be in color. It's called Who is on First? It's a skit about a baseball team. You lost the me. Person, I'm, uh, no, 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 no. I'm going to find it. You, I promise. After this. I've heard of this. I've heard yeah, of this. It's, Ab- it's Abbott and Costello. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. I've heard of it this. Is, Never it, seen it. it. Girl, it is hilarious. Who's on first? What's on second? Um, uh, I don't know. He's in the outfield. <laughs> what are you Someone... talking about? No, he's in the dugout. <laughs> it's a lot. I gotta find it. I gotta find it. It sounds in- interesting. I've heard of this. I've heard of this. I've he- I've heard these terms. I need, yeah. I need Michelle to blink. Like yeah, the, the, the everybody else can't see it, but I need. Thank, thank you, thank you. Moisturize your eyeballs, please. Stop blinking. Now stare at us the whole time. <laughs> no, you know, <laughs> no. The thing that just made me think of, they're what? like that thing on TikTok or Instagram Reels. They're like smile without your. They're like smile without your eyebrows. Now raise your eyebrows. Stop I'm smiling. Stop smiling. This is your model face. I'm a model. <laughs> you know that I no, am. A, I, no, my model face just looks like I'm terrified. <laughs> like I have really large eyeballs. So for me, it's smile with, they say smile without your eyes. And it's just, and then they like raise your eyebrows. Do you see this face? This face looks like, hmm? Call me. (laughs) Yeah, like like, I just got busted with my hand in the cookie jar, and Mama is holding the belt. Like, "Mm -hmm." Mm -hmm. not me. It's a whole oh shit face. My eyeballs are too big for that. I don't need to be making that face. That's real. It doesn't work for me, but it's okay. No. 
All right, so last two rounds. Mine's for Michelle. Michelle's is going to have to be for me. So, three, three, three is a magic number. Man and a woman had a little baby. Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey. it. Monday okay. three. <laughs> That's how I learned how to count by threes. <laughs> Three, six, nine. No? All right, it's fine. Uh, oh, I'm so familiar. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Oh, sorry. No, no. When I hear three, six, It's the bunny. Hmm? Uh, I hear, I'm, I'm so from Atlanta. Why? Three, six, nine. Damn girl, five. So the second to me one <laughs> more time. Get low. 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 Oh, have you wow. heard the girls' version of that song? What? Have you heard the girls' version of that song? There's a I don't know. Inversions. From the window to the wall to the wall to the sweat drop down my titties. Cause all these niggas want to hit it. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Never heard it. I, I like, like it. Gotta hold, I like hold it. my boots. Let's go. Hold my oh boots. my god. Focus, focus, so know. we can focus, so someone will actually listen to this entire fucking episode. Nobody's gonna listen to this whole episode. This is so long. Anyway, all right, my three. Like Ready? This. Was this for me? Yes. It's okay. Micro orgasms, frauding, and orgasm denial. It's micro orgasm because frauding is a thing, and orgasm denial is definitely a thing. Mm-hmm. Both of these things. She, she's right. Fraud. I watch a lot of Criminal Minds and Law and Order SVU. Frauding is the getting off by rubbing on someone. Well, like rubbing your body. On them. Specifically, it is typically seen as rubbing two penises together. Yes, but frauding, like the criminal definition, is like if you use someone unwillingly as a masturbatory aid by rubbing up against them. That Can you please correct. stop rubbing your fingers together? It's like, like trying to start a fire. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you know, because the sensitive parts is on the bottom. Two ashy dicks. Do you just, just put them like this? It's a, the, you can hold them together during this act as well, apparently. Yeah. Oh, or what oh, if oh, you put them in a Chinese finger trap except without the squeezing? I bet Lots that somebody's into it. I bet somebody's into it. It also is another word for like heavy petting because it can be rubbing together for sexual simulation while clothes dry humping dry humping. dry humping that's what if you're from the south it's called hunching, hunching. Yep. hunching. all those words and then orgasm denial is a lot like what it sounds like the type of play with yeah. somebody's someone's orgasm is denied yeah. Mm-hmm. So you just diddle them. You diddle them, but they can't. They can't finish the diddle. Yeah, a lot of times on TV it's called edging, like coming right up to the edge. Yeah. No, because edging. Well, and edging is... are two different things. Mm. Yes, because edge edging doesn't edging mean eventually you go get there. Yeah, eventually Orgasm, you are but now get means you just not allowed you. to get there at all. Damn. Well, sometimes it says it's it can be denied entirely or limited. Yeah. And delayed. Yeah. Yeah. You can delay it, which is orgasm denial, but like with That's edging, really org- is, is with edging it's just you taking your slow little time to get up the mountain. With denial, you still in the parking lot staring at the top of the mountain, just like I can't even lead a parking lot. I'm so tired. yeah. Huh. I, I think a I think an orgasm deferred is different from an orgasm denied. That's real. Yeah. Like, you know, orgasm in the sun. Sorry. If you leave an orgasm in the sun, what does it do? Does it wither? (laughs) Yes. I'm going to need you to, like, go camping and just have sex outside. Who's doing that? One day. Felicia's not doing that. No one's doing that. In the right tent? Why not? Tents are very nice. Ma'am. Ma'am. No one over here is doing that. Wow. Not any, not not any of my aliases. <laughs> not, not any. Any of, of the names I... that people might call me. 
any of them. Not even not even the one who has the nickname, my very first nickname I got in utero. She ain't doing it. None oh. of us. Dang. 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 Just, but you just <laughs> It's all right. Just saying. Oh. It's okay. Oh. Not happening. <laughs> Okay, what's your last one? Okay, okay. Come on, Mish. I thought we decided we were not doing that name. I thought I decided that I don't give a damn. <laughs> Bitch will never catch on. Let it go. I'm not. I'm not. As <laughs> as one half of this podcast, I get to say, fuck you, I'm calling you Mish. <laughs> Wait, is that you a know what I think? Shoulder? Huh? It's what? Victoria has an apple on her shoulder as a it's hair crest. It's been oh. my comfort <laughs> item this whole time. <laughs> I've been playing with this apple for the entire time that we've been recording. I don't know how y'all haven't noticed. It was in my titties at thought, one point. It was on I, thought, I thought you were grabbing your boobs because you know they're a comfort thing for you. But no, they are. It no it's apple. been a couple, comfort apple this whole time. Are you eating it? I haven't eaten it yet, but I okay. do plan to eventually. I think I think I think Drea is just trying to get acquainted with the apple, get to know the apple. Mm-hmm. There was I was apple. at one point I was trying to rip it. But I can't. I can't rip it. I don't have that you kind of strength. You're trying to hurt yourself. <laughs> I started shaking. <laughs> Did you see it? I started doing like, you know how like little kids make themselves shake when they're angry. <laughs> it was, it was okay, one of those I situations. I don't know if it's physically possible to you rip can, it. Apparently. It is. I've you seen can. it on Instagram. You, you okay. One, you have to be really strong. It has to be slightly kneely. It can be done, but I don't think I want you to do it so bad. <laughs> I want to believe in myself. I want to believe you, baby. <laughs> okay, how about this? How about this? No, slightly, want... How about this? Why don't you slightly cut it just no. a little? No, but then she didn't do it. Right. She did it. I didn't do she it. Did it. She just just nick it. Just nick it. It's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Dave, you just said it's a lie. I heard nothing but the color purple. That was on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, she she meant it that way. I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing as hell. What you talking about? She Nick meant it that. Much. She meant it that way. Okay, 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 okay. Last okay, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Go ahead, give me your last one. This game is going okay. on forever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay 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 so this one how about both of you guys guess how about okay, we can work okay. together. yeah yeah y'all are a team so Tag y'all have to team. Agree. Back, again. back again no 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 <laughs> okay you ready yes. robotophilia articulation thesariomania <laughs> Okay, I want to believe. I want to believe. I want to believe. No. What was that first one? Robotophilia. Robotophilia. Yeah. I feel like that's a thing. I feel like it's like a domo origato. Origato, Mister Robotophilia. No, no, no. I feel no, like it's no. a thing. Just say robotophilia, as in like you have a robot. No, robotophilia for robotophilia. like a robot, like robot, that's not robot. That's not what that's called. That's the fake one because that's not what that's called. It's not robotophilia. It's um, it's um, digitomania. It's, it's that, digital di- get down. Computer love. All three of us did it. The and apple. Dre tried, tried to do it with the apple. <laughs> Okay, okay. I feel like robotophilia is a thing. I feel like 
the the A word is wrong because I just don't want to believe that something that starts with D could be a lie. Dun, 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 dun. No, 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 not D. The the Sario Mania. Sario Mania. Yeah, like not the Saurus. Mm hmm. How's it spelled? T H E S A U. Don't you look it up. I'm not. I got an app on my hand. I can't look it up. Okay, keep your hands where I can see them. T H E S A U R O M A N I A. I feel like that's a thing. Why not? Why not get off on the sources and words like that? I don't see, I feel like that might be a lie, actually. That, that sounds like a lie. Both of those sound like the lie. You know what? I'm going to go with the opposite of what I'm thinking. Since I think both of those are a lie, I'm going to go with the third one. So you think Yurtsuka, you, let me say it again. Yurtsuka, there we go. I want to put an extra letter in there. Um, is fake. Yurtication. Wait, did you say yurtication as in like you build a yurt? Yeah, U R T I C A T I O N. When I hear yurtication, I think I think you build in yurts. I always I think of mastication, which had something to do with chewing. So I'm gonna go the Saromania. Okay. Do you both think the Saromania is the one? Yeah, go for it. You don't have to come with me. You don't have to be be wrong with me if you don't want to. You can live your own life, but it's okay. I, I, that's the only way we gonna get anywhere, cause you know. Okay, so someone thinks the sorry mania is wrong, and the other person thinks your education is wrong. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Y'all both wrong. It was yeah. robotophilia is not it. Really. <laughs> yeah. I'm mad. Damn. Okay, so let me tell you what yotication is. It's using the nettle plant to sting a partner's skin. Yeah, no, thank you. One, I'm a black woman. Nettle- I don't fuck with nettles. That's, that's, not my, <laughs> that's not my ministry. That's no one's ministry over here. I don't fuck with nettles. But y'all, I chose I do the fuck Sario- with some nettles. Neville? Like Neville long bottom? bottom? Down with him. <sighs> I'd take that all day. I cannot do this with you. I'm sorry. If your Harry Potter, y'all's Harry Potter love and selves. I cannot do this with you. Look at here. Guess what? She's a never firm even. believer of saying I've never read the books. She's never read the. They'll books. never read the books. It's a deathbed book. That's I thought you said is. you were going to read them when you're dying. Yeah. Yeah, deathbed books. When I'm on my deathbed, I will read through all of the horrible jk rowlings no 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 you don't a girl let me tell you the harry potter books wrote themselves we don't know who jk rowling is wow okay um so y'all i chose the sario mania just because it sounds like the sars it does but this it does but that's not what the kink is about what is it okay. it's the kink it's the kink for collecting women's clothing as it says, the collector may focus on specific items or categories such as underwear. So basically, that's a red herring. Serial killers do. Serial killers don't always collect clothing, but they do collect trophies. A lot of them. They do a lot of times collect trophies. And sometimes their trophies are used panties. Sometimes, sometimes their trophies are clothing, but they're not and always. So, sometimes right. their trophies are nipples. Yep. Not the nips. Yep. A nipple belt. Ed Gein, that man? Yeah, I think Ed Gein made a nipple belt. He made a nipple belt. No. Yeah, he made a belt of nipples from all the people. He also yeah. had a skin lamp. I'm he mad. Did. Like you Buffalo said a belt Bill. of nipples, and the only thing I can think of is, were any of the nipples always poked out? And by the time they were on the belt, were they still poked out? Why was I thinking that? I don't know. That's a great question. I've never looked up the pictures of the nipple belt. I don't need to see. I don't think I need to see. They exist, I'm sure. There was, I think he made like a lot of things out of it. Michelle, Michelle, don't you dare. Michelle, don't you dare. Turn off Jujel. Turn it off. Michelle, Michelle, I can see in your glasses. (laughs) Take off your glasses. Why are you Jujeling it? This made my nipples itch. What's going on? My nipple itch. Yeah, I want to see it. No. Why would I want to see that? I just noticed. If I know who did it, 
and I know in detail what happened. I've never looked it up before. It was on purpose. It was on purpose. But I kind of want to send it, send it, send it. I kind of want to see it now. (laughs) I have to ask this question. Why? Why would you do that? Why would I Google it? Why would you it? Now I want to see it. Go okay, ahead. Put it in the chat. We'd like to know. I am. I'm going to. I can't believe I'm doing this. Why? Because. Sometimes you just need to know. Sometimes you just need to know the horrible things that happen in life. You so know you what? can go, damn. I just, I would like to say as company, I like it here. You like it here? Mm, Why? This is a janky ass house. (laughs) We are weird and I love it. This is a weird fucking house. I don't know why you wanted to be a part of it. This is the house that Jack built. Mm? Oh! Oh, goodness. No! I am not. (laughs) I I can't unsee this. I can't unsee this. I quickly clicked away. I'm not. And I apparently, haven't. apparently, that's not the only thing he had. No, he had a he had a skin lamp, like a lampshade made out of skin. No, no, no. I'm not curious no more. And he also didn't he stuff his mama. Is that the one that stuffed his mama? I feel like he uh, did. Well. Mm. You know I what, y'all? Feel like he stuffed his mom with like newspaper or some shit. Mm-mm. There are some things you just don't need to do. <laughs> and one of them is jujuling a nipple belt. Well, you know what? There's a great many things I don't need to do, but I do them. Yeah. I do them. Yeah. And uh, ah, I'm well, sure whoever that's... created me is looking down on me going... We messed up with this one. You know what? You know what? It's it's because of you two that I now know about the the, the FBI agent that watches me. I feel bad for that poor soul because they don't know which way I'm coming or going. Uh, It's probably NSA. It's probably NSA. It's probably not the FBI. It's definitely the NSA. They are watching at all times. (laughs) But they, they they don't know which way I'm coming or going because between Googling angel numbers, porn comics and how to sew things they don't know which which yeah and how to and recipes for stuff like here's the thing though when you're googling stuff like that they ain't worried about you it's fine and then the Mm. next day i start googling racist terms and racist gestures well that is more concerning but more just from like a social standpoint than it is I just want to make sure that I'm not doing any of them and what they look like if they're done toward me. Sure. Ooh. That's what yeah. that's what they all say. <laughs> you know what? A likely story. You know what? That's why I can't open my right, apple. Right here. Right here. <laughs> uh, right here. I don't consent to that. I feel like that might be a thing you like. And... I don't want to bite your hand. You know, hands go everywhere. They're kind of gross. Okay, so hands how about this? Right here. Gross. Right here. No, thank you. No, I thank you. That. That's not fun. You're lying. Anyway. No, that's not fun. That hurts. Anyway. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us. Anyway, that's... <laughs> Sorry our house is so janky, but we're glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. We're, Bye, we're... everybody. I found a knife. You found it. She Bye, found everybody. A knife. I found a knife. I'm going to need to find a knife. Because <laughs> this ripping this out. <laughs> <laughs> Tune, tune in next time to find out if Drea ever ate her apple. I'ma cut it. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Tune in next time to find out if Drea ever ate her apple. Yes. If Michelle ever stopped Googling weird body parts. And no. if Lilo ever gets to come back and hang out again. All right. Look, it, check the Instagram page. You'll see that I cut this apple and I ate it. Uh, I'm just gonna say, <laughs> if you're not already following us at Life 401. Dut, dot, uh, that's a dot. Ad, dut, uh, <laughs> advanced shenanigans on Instagram. You should, and you'll get to see that I'm definitely about to cut this apple open because it's not working. It's not I working. Follow you. 
I kind of feel a little creepy because I follow y'all just about everywhere. Jesus. So um, and then shenanigans is like in my timeline. Oh, have God. you have you have you followed my OnlyFans yet? If not, you ain't real. Your OnlyFans is expensive. Good things come to those who pay. You know what? If that's the case, <laughs> if that's the case, I'm gonna start a a a, a foot OnlyFans so that I can pay to see your OnlyFans. But see, you know, if this they want me like to cut it. my toe, hold on. If they want me to cut my toenails, they gotta pay for premium. You know, this sounds this sounds like a don't get high on your own supply type of thing. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I've ran out of passwords. I can't create an OnlyFans. I ran out. <laughs> I don't have a damn OnlyFans. I don't have so any awesome. more secure passwords for me to be able to use. <laughs> Ran out. So don't look for me there, guys. <laughs> New password. I ran out of other things. So this, this is, is it. it. Yeah, 37 <laughs> Oh, God. No, no, no. You know what? I thought about someone. Michelle told me I should have started OnlyFans, and I was like, "Of what? Have you trying to rip open an apple? You can <laughs> trying have OnlyFans trying to rip open consistently trying to rip open an apple. <laughs> just, oh my gosh! Take oh this gosh. idea. Just record yourself trying to rip open an apple for the next thirty days and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe do it topless. I don't know, but <laughs> this is the advice that I get. You know what? I'm gonna have an OnlyFans of me eating cheese. Yeah, eat this cheese, is man. Of this, of me eating cheese. There you go. Oh, yeah. That's there what you go. too. Look, okay. our dairy products: cheese, yogurt, ice cream, froyo. That's Find L on OnlyFans near you. <laughs> <laughs> is that how OnlyFans works? Clearly. <laughs> Do you have to use like a location setting? Is it just no? That's Tinder. That's Tinder. This is subscription based. I'm just saying that way. I, I, I'm doing it, and my tagline would be, "I'm doing it for those that can't have dairy." Oh fuck go. it! Those of us who can't have dairy have dairy, or for the vegans that miss dairy, but they want to be vegan still. So I eat it for you. This is like a weird mukbang. It is like yeah. a weird mukbang. Yeah. I'm down for a weird mukbang. I mean, you know what? You live your truth. Everybody, you live your truth, guys. And in the meantime, I've been Drea. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've been Michelle. And I'm always L. For now. <laughs> and <laughs> this Which has been like for of- what I've been again. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>